Hey everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to find a confidence interval for a proportion using Excel. So if I start with my question over here, I have a poll of 1200 voters, so that's N, right there. 65% answered that it was the economy was the most important thing, and so that's going to be our successes. So I'll convert that to decimal, 0.65, that's P hat. Q hat is always going to be 1 minus that, so I can use Excel to calculate it. 1 minus P hat. There's Q hat. Now, when I'm doing these proportions, usually I want to verify that N times P hat and N times Q hat are at least 5. I can have Excel check that for me. So equals N asterisk for times P hat. And see, okay, I definitely got something more than five there, and do the same thing for Q hat. And that one's also greater than five. So I know that I can use the central limit theorem at, when I'm doing this confidence interval. Okay, next thing I need is the standard deviation. And so that's a formula that I'm going to have this calculate. It's going to be the square root. So SQRT for square root of, and this is going to be P hat times Q hat divided by N. All of that inside the square root, so all of it is in the parentheses there. And there is the standard deviation. Confidence level they gave me was 95%. And just like with the T distribution, I have to do 1 minus that for alpha because it's going to need that when doing this calculation. So there's alpha. And now I'm ready to calculate the error. So I'm doing confidence intervals. So again, I'm going to start typing confidence intervals. I used dot T for uh, the mean when I was using a T distribution. This one we're going to be using normal distributions, so dot norm is the one I want to choose here. And choose alpha, the standard deviation, and n. And there is the error for this example, so it's really, really tiny. And to find the lower and upper limit for the confidence interval, I'll start with my equals, and it's p hat minus the error for the lower limit, and p hat plus the error for the upper limit. And I've got my confidence interval. If I wanted to write that in interval notation, I would use parentheses. And a lot of times, since we're dealing with a proportion, I will convert that to a percent. So that'd be 64.9% for the lower, and 65 0.1% for the upper if I round those to the tenth of a percent. And there's my answer.